This video is going to be a review on the first alert BRK3120B. It's a hardwire smoke detector, dual sensor smoke alarm. It runs on AC and battery backup. The idea behind that is that if you lose your AC, the battery should work. If your battery dies, hopefully you've got an AC hookup. Out here in California, it's mandatory to have AC wired smoke detectors in most critical parts of the house. Dual sensor means that it runs on photoelectric and ionization. So uh, here's kind of an unboxing. Not much in this unit. As I said, it's photoelectric and ionization. Two different ways to detect uh, smoke. Most homes have an ionization uh, detector and there's a very good chance that you could sleep through the whole thing or die from smoke inhalation by the time that uh, the ionization alarm goes off. Photoelectric is much better, but you really want to buy a dual alarm like that. That's why they sell them now. Reasonably priced. Comes with the alarm. It's got a couple batteries with it. It has a cover so that if you're going to be installing these, you can put this cover over there and continue to do uh, sanding for preparation and the alarm will not activate while this cover is on there and it will also keep the dust out of the alarm. You have to realize with smoke detectors, they do fail after about five to ten years. They will fail if they get a lot of dust in them. If you're in a dusty environment, if you have somebody come in your house and spray paint, the ceilings, the paint is going to get into the filter and it's going to probably ruin the sensor. If you have a lot of dust in there from sanding, you can ruin the filter that way. This uh, alarm has a latch feature so that if, the, if it trips automatically, if it triggers, I mean, if it triggers by mistake, um, you can press the button and it will keep it off for, what, like eight minutes or something. Um, and then it will reactivate if there's a problem. All right, this is a, a fairly standard thing. It's pretty easy. You see over here, they've got these little pins. You got a pin over here and a pin over here. Those are dependent on how you want to install this. If you want to install it so somebody can't remove this from the ceiling, then you will install one of these pins. The instructions tell you how to do that. You'll install the pin inside uh, this thing, and then it will stop the smoke detector from coming out easily so somebody can't rip it off. And there's also one that you can put on the battery compartment. Battery compartment is over here, so that you can uh, stop somebody from pulling out this drawer and stealing your battery. It's kind of hard to pull this out with one hand. There it goes. Two batteries go in there, and then it slides back in. Uh, it's a fairly easy install. It's the button, the test button, and the shut the alarm off button if it triggers by accident. It's a nice little feature. It just screws on. It's pretty easy compared to some of the others where you have to snap it on. Um, that's why you sometimes might want to use this pin to stop somebody from taking it off and unscrewing it and stealing your alarm or your bracket or the batteries. So there's the power connector. Um, that's standard. Black wire goes to black. White goes to white. If you've got, uh, if you're just replacing, if you're not. And you're going to have to get some AC connections over to this unit. This will plug into the back of the alarm over here. It's got a red wire. The red wire is that it's if you have an install where you've got multiple alarm or smoke detectors in the house and they're all connected together with this red wire, then if one of the detectors went off and triggered, all of the alarms would go off at the same time. So uh, the red wire is for interconnecting. Most homes don't have that, but if you do, that's what the red wire is for. And then you've got your standard bracket where you'd be replacing, you'd be unscrewing the unit that you've got up in the ceiling, and then putting the two screws on the uh, on this bracket, turning it, tightening it, which I'll show you, and then screwing this thing back on like you saw me unscrew it a few minutes ago, after you connect your wire. So here we go. Very easy install. Um, you do want to have an AC connection for this. It's kind of silly to buy this unit and not use AC. This is the original smoke detector that I'm going to be taking off. Normally you just either look for a latch or you unscrew it and see what happens. There's usually a message on there. All right, I just turn this thing and you should pull the power before you do this. It's really important. I didn't uh, disconnect the power, but if you don't do that and you start messing with 120, you could probably kill yourself. And if you die, I'm not going to be responsible for your death. So 
what you want to do is look at the brand and the you can tell that this is not going to be the same base as what I'm uh, installing because I've got a screw base and this one is not a screw base. So what you want to do is pull your wires out. You're going to have some wire nuts in here. So you want to pull your nuts out of the wall, out of the ceiling. I don't know how they did this. They did, uh, that. you can see the yellow wire. The yellow wire is if you were going to be installing, interconnecting like I was talking about before. There is uh, the white wire. I didn't disconnect power. I might be doing that. I will be doing that before I continue. Um, and then the wire nuts. So uh, the black wire, the white wire, just like I showed you on the other unit. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm first going to be removing this. If I shut off the power, I would not be worried about that. But first I'm going to remove the bracket, and then I will start disconnecting these wires and continuing to do the install. So I'll be back in a bit. So what you see now is I've removed the bracket. You can see, I believe, the two screws that go into the uh, power box. Most of these things are fairly standard, how they're installed. So the new bracket's going to end up going on these two screws that are there. I'm going to unplug. I'm going to pull this. Again, I really should uh, disconnect the power on this thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect these two wires, and then I'm going to start doing my work. These are wire nuts. Um, there's 120 volts on here right now. Very dangerous what I'm doing. Don't do this at home. Don't do this at home. One wire is disconnected. If I would touch this black wire that's hanging here, I could still get shocked and killed. So you got to be really careful when you're doing this. Both wires are now disconnected. The power, the two wires hanging from the ceiling, that's where the 120 volts is. This is the old unit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bracket up here. And I'm going to put my wire nuts, I'm going to put my nuts on my uh, wires first so that I don't touch them and hurt myself. Then I'm going to put the bracket on here. Then I'm going to put the wires on these two uh, exposed wires with the wire nuts. And then I will uh, plug in the new unit. Remember, when you're doing this, you always want to keep one hand free. You never want to have current can go through the body. I'm not standing on it. You could die either way by doing this, but I'm not standing on metal right now. I'm not standing on anything that conducts to the ground. But if you have a hand touching something and you touch one of these wires, you could complete the circuit and kill yourself. So... It's okay if you put this black wire on, but if you touch the white wire, you're still okay because the white wire is not attached to anything. If it was plugged into the smoke detector, then you would complete your circuit. So here we go, putting the black wire to the black wire nut, spinning it on. And the reason I'm doing this now is because one of the wire nuts was not screwing onto the an individual wire, so I was worried about safety. So you see one wire is on there. I'm going to be, I'm going to have to get in the way right now of the camera to be able to attach this wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the white wire. I'm going to put some electrical tape on this to make sure that if the wire nut did come out while it was pushed into the outlet box, that there wouldn't be a short. Always tape if you can. You'll notice there is a yellow wire nut on there. It's always good to have uh, healthy nuts, and I was not able to push both wires into the original yellow nut and tighten it down so that it would hold both wires properly. So make sure that you've got extra nuts in, in case you need to uh, put one of your nuts on the wire. Now that I've got both of these secure, I'm going to put some electrical tape on them. You do want to be careful, like I said, if you touch either one of these things and you touch with that screw over there, you could kill yourself. So the smartest way to do this is to turn off the power um, to avoid any possibility of accidental death. And while you're putting electrical tape on there, if one of these falls off and you brush against it, you've completed the circuit and you're dead. So you've got to be really careful. Make sure you can never allow that to happen. So I've got this electrical tape, and I'm going to put it around the wire wrap it around the wire. You can see how far away I am from this other nut. There's no possibility that even if 
this nut came off that I would get shocked. So I'm going to wrap the nut completely around. I'm going to wrap the tape around my nut and the wire so that uh, even if the wire comes out, it is still going to be held together by tape. I'm going to do that on the other one now. Now this is the bracket. Uh, bracket's got a bunch of different holes in there so that it will work on four different sizes, five different sizes of uh, outlet boxes, junction boxes. So you, that's why you want to tape this. Everything should be careful. It should be okay now. Um, place the bracket over the screws and wait until it catches on something and then you turn and my screw I need to undo these screws more but it will lock into place and once you get the bracket on there then you tighten the screws don't over tighten because if you do you crack the plastic and then you've got real problems all right so the only part that's left is getting the smoke detector, putting the batteries in it, plugging it into the connector over here, and then jamming these wires back up inside the box, and putting it on this unit, and turning it clockwise to screw it on. Smoke detector tells you uh, which way to position the batteries so that you can insert them. Plus to the front, plus to the back. Uh, I think you can see that over there. I'm going to push it in now. Okay, so we know that uh, it sees the power. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this connector in here. It only plugs in one way. And that is on the right over there, so it only plugs in one way. And now I'm going to jam these wires in here. Again, be careful, even though everything's taped up and you've got your uh, tape on your nuts, you want to be careful. Then I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to turn it slowly until it locks into place, screws in, and there it is. So you can see that anybody could really come up, like with any of these units, you could come up and unscrew it and steal it. But nobody's going to do that in your house and you, it's kind of foolish to uh, put a, a plug on the battery thing and the bracket unless you really need to. Now I'm going to press the button to do a test. Okay, okay, let me shut that off. You got to hold it in. I'm sure my neighbors loved hearing that. That's how you install one of these uh, first alert smoke detectors. It goes really quick. I know this video was detailed and long, but I like to do that for people that really don't understand what's going on. The more detail, the better. So hopefully the video helped you. Do a thumbs up, a subscribe, a like. Please go to the channel page, click on donate to support this channel. And help me out if you can with some dinero. Appreciate it. Hopefully this helped. Stay safe. No fires in the house. And uh, that's it. Bye.